All right, I figured I'd start today where we left off yesterday. Um, I decided to wear a tank top, but I've got to hurry and go walking. Also, I don't have pants on. <laughs> I don't know why I told you that. My pants are downstairs. Um, but I think, I think the sleeves are going to be warm enough without... I need to get like regular shirts too, just like non-tank top, just short sleeve shirts to wear as well. But I think this will feel warm enough, but maybe I'll bring the long sleeve one if I get too cold. I think I'll be fine in this. It's not raining and it's not going to rain for an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes once I get to the park. I've kind of timed this. Oh, come on. Okay, I have to go down and find scissors to cut that off because that hurts my hand. So, I'm going to go down and get my drink. Um, Ashley is homesick. Her alarm is going to go off in 10 minutes. When I realized that she hadn't gotten up this morning, um, I went in and checked on her and um, she's like, I was up all night coughing. <laughs> she's like, I don't want to miss school, but I'm so tired right now. And she only has like her homeroom class and then she has PE. And uh, <laughs> it's okay, she misses PE. So I let her set an alarm. Um, I gotta get my watch. Um, but Jason's gonna take her to school. She's gonna get up here in 10 minutes and get ready to go. And he'll take her and then um, we'll just give her some good medicine and see if she can make it through the day. If not, that's fine. She can come home. She doesn't have a fever. It's just the cough kind of bugs her. So, that, we're gonna start our day. But I'm gonna go test this sucker out. I'm gonna stay out in the rain um, when it does start to rain, because I do wanna test it. So, let's, let's get going. Okay, I wanted to show you my little setup. Got my hoodie ready for when it does start to rain. I'm gonna pull this up to keep my neck warm and I'm gonna get tissues. I also got my little fanny pack, which is a good thing I got this because these pants, these little capris, they don't have pockets. I don't know why you make pockets or pants without pockets. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of tissues, hang on. Because with cold weather, um, I'm blowing my nose constantly. I just take a bunch of tissues. You know, if I was like, well, I wouldn't even get like the tissue packets because I would go through a whole packet every walk. I just fill my little bag up here. And uh, I'm going to take my phone out now because I'm going to find my <laughs> podcast to listen to. There's people here, hang on. I don't think they noticed my camera. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get going here. Also, a text message just came in from Jason and he said that Ashley doesn't feel good enough to go to school. So, we're gonna get her medicined up, maybe some soup for lunch. Um, and then probably send her back to bed. Hopefully that's what he's doing. Well, he's gotten her breakfast, but we'll get her some soup for lunch. Okay, I'm gonna tuck you away and we're gonna go for a walk. All right, I'm gonna give a quick update on the jacket and then we won't talk about it again. <laughs> um, nor about my walk. I'm doing good, two and a half miles in and uh, I've stayed plenty warm. In fact, I can kind of feel my core being extra warm, you know what I mean? But I'm not hot and I'm not, my, you know, hands are not cold and that's partly due to the actual temperature outside. Um, having this um, zip right up to my neck is helpful to kind of keep the wind off of my neck and then if I get a little bit warm, I can lower it back down and kind of get my core cooled off by opening that up. So I love the jacket. 
that works great for with the tank top. Um, I feel like if I had the long sleeve shirt, I would be way over hot, but probably just wear the long sleeve shirt um, alone um, without the jack jacket uh, on a walk. So, sorry, <laughs> someone came by. So anyway, doing pretty good. We're gonna keep walking. Hoping to get to five miles today, but I'll be okay with four. Um, but I'm feeling great. Like, I have a good podcast going. Um, bird. Anyway, doing good this morning. Okay. I've got my hoodie up. It's barely sprinkling, but I'm just testing it. Because I want my scent. My glasses were getting wet, sprinkled on. So I'm kind of testing to see if I can keep my glasses dry. Of course, if the rain comes at me from this direction, then I won't be able to. But so far, I kind of keep my head down anyway. And I keep my glasses dry. It feels good. It's also a little windy, so it keeps me a little bit warmer too. Do you think he's itching himself? No. He's like itching his... Oh, okay. That is so cool. Yeah. And he's not bothered by us at all. We're we're right here. He's just doing his thing. That's so cool. All right. Well, that was a fun little surprise right at the end of my walk. I just walked right past him. And uh, the deer, I should say. And uh, people ne uh, up ahead of me, they were just like staring off at it. And I am like, what are you guys looking at? <laughs> and then I looked over to see it. It's kind of cool. Um, didn't actually keep up with raining. Um, at least not in the last 10, 15 minutes. I mean, I do have wetness on my coat. It's just like pearled up and beat it up, I should say. Um, it feels good. feel a little bit warm. Um, but oh, I have like mud and everything all over my socks from the trail. So we'll go ahead and get those washed up. But very happy with my walk today. Did five miles and we'll go home and get cleaned up and go to Costco with Jason. I am showered and cleaned up and I'm going to fill out my ballot. It's right here. Abby has it. I'm going to M get a cute little sticker to wear, which I think I shall wear it today. It looks like the space needle right there. It's like it snow. is. Yeah. And then like the, the mountains and stuff. Yeah. That's cool. So I am going to fill this ba ballot out. Um, Jason's already filled out his and we're going to go mail them. All right. So I haven't filled in all of it. I filled in some from the backside, but um, it does come down to two choices for president. We have a lot in the state. We do. We have all of, all these. of these. Kennedy is actually no longer on the ballot. Well, I mean, he's on, on the ballot, but he's not really. certain states that he's not on the ballot. Right. So yeah. I don't think it should be any um, question, but I will secretly make my own, not secretly, independently <laughs> make my own vote and... Luckily for us in this state, it's going to count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I'm going to put my sticker sticks. on. Do you have your sticker, Jace? I want to walk around with my sticker on today. Did okay. you know that there's a sticker? Yeah, I saw the sticker. I Come just on, didn't worry about it. Come on, wear your sticker. Yeah. I'm going to wear it proudly. I'm going to say I voted. Okay. Because I thought you could only get that if you like did in-person voting. But like they have it on our Here little you packet can. today. All right, I gotta finish filling this out and then we're gonna go and turn them in and go to Costco. And I love that two of our girls are here to witness me doing this. Yes. It's important because literally like, did they not do that in the past? No, no I've never I've seen never a, sticker. a sticker before. Never seen a sticker. Yeah. My vote is partially for my kids, my girls that can't vote. Yep. Kaylee can make her own vote. I told her to go check her uh, mailbox. Yeah, she's got her ballot now. She can make her own vote, her own decisions. I'm not going to persuade her. I told her to go harvest all the votes from her other fellow college students. <laughs> no, that's a joke. I know. 
Okay. Okay. I don't know. This it, this is a much bigger um, decision and and va and elections. Wait, 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 wait. All right. No, don't. I want to put mine in. What one is mine? I don't know. Is that one mine? Nope. This one's yours. Right. I want to know that I'm doing mine. Of course. Yeah. Don't want the patriarchy help you at all. No. <laughs> I'm gonna do my own. Here, you film me doing mine. Let freedom ring. There you go. All right. It's an important one this year. Okay, Costco. This is on rebates. We got some toothpaste to stock up on. We didn't do very much today, as you can see. Um, and he's getting, he's already got the built bars and another protein bar over there. Um, so basic, I am quite liking um, being up here in my bedroom. I'm um, editing and I'm watching Netflix. Um, and uh, I'm enjoying my time up here. <laughs> um, I'm just, I needed a kind of change of pace from sitting at my desk and I, I don't know. I just have needed that and I have downtime today so I could stop editing and watch my show and stop and go get some apples. I had some apples and caramel sauce. I need to go down and get some dinner now. It's been a couple hours. I just uh, cut Jason's hair. Do you want to come show your haircut? It's the nothing fancy. Is. Yeah. Looking kind of dapper. It does look better short. It does. I just not very creative to come up with a different haircut. No, it's just, it's good and easy. It works for me. Yep. Um, unfortunately today, um, I've also been texting a group of my friends, um, half of which have moved away, um, live in Oregon and e Utah and one that lives two live that live here. Um, and unfortunately one of them, her kids go to middle school and a, another child at their middle school decided to bring a, you know what, to school went into lockdown mode and if today if today's video of me telling you to go vote isn't relevant to that moment I don't know what is um things have to change in this country I I, I didn't really want to get political until I heard that and we've been trying to help her and as a mom but also like just it's just crazy that that is something that we have to deal with because it is an easy fix. I'm sorry, everyone, I, I just, I can't. I can't with this issue because kids are dying. Kids are dying, teachers are dying, administrators are dying, and we have friends who work in the school districts and their lives are at risk every day, our kids' lives are at risk every day, and it is absolutely not necessary. And anyway, I, it, just is ridiculous. <sighs> okay, I'll get off my soapbox. I've, I've just been having to sit here to like help my friend and now she has to bring her kids home from school today and cuddle up with them on the couch and deal with their, you know, tears and they're scared and they're worried about going to school tomorrow and rightfully so, they should be worried. It's very stupid that our kids have to be worried about something like that. It's very stupid. So, anyway, go vote. And and think about this. Think about your vote. And don't worry about what your spouse is voting. Don't worry about what your family has always voted. Don't worry about what your state has always voted. Can you just take a minute to yourself? This is your individual vote. That's why I don't persuade Jason to vote a certain way. I don't persuade Kaylee to vote a certain way. This is your vote. And there's so much on the line right now. And there's, this is probably the same group. Um, there's so much on the line, so.